Hello everybody, I finally got off the waitlist for Adobe Firefly and now I have access to its beta and they have at least two of their features out already. One is text to image and the next is text effects. The other features are coming soon. If you don't know much about Adobe Firefly, go to my playlist section and find this playlist called Adobe AI, where I have a video explaining what Adobe Firefly is and how you can get on the waitlist. Today's video will be a deep dive on the text effect section which is unique to Adobe Firefly because I don't think I've seen anything similar in any of the other AI art tools. To get started, go to this link called firefly.adobe.com and make sure you're logged in with your Adobe account and make sure it's the one which got access to Adobe Firefly, you should have received an email. After you're there, click on this generate button for the text effects section in the middle. It's gonna open up the font style page for Adobe Firefly, where you're gonna see a bunch of fonts which have been generated using the text effect feature of Adobe Firefly. Now, if you hover over any of these generations right here, for example, this one, it says realistic tiger fur. What the text effect does is to allow you to provide prompts to generate a specific style of font. For example, till now, you have been restricted to things like Times New Roman or Arial, but now you can create your fonts based on a whole different style that you thought up. Like this one is using folk embroidered fabric so this font can be useful for maybe a fabric company and they can have their entire branding done using the text effect feature of adobe firefly i'm going to have a future video coming up where i'm going to do an entire branding generation using this feature but for now i want to show you all the basic functionalities of the text effects to get started you can either come to the bottom here type some text and the prompt for the text effects or you can just hover over any of these generations and click try prompt so this example is using the word Firefly because that's the name of the product and the word here is Mossy. So as you see, it just generated the word Firefly with a pink background using the Mossy text effect. Now I'm gonna try a bunch of different generations using my own words and text effects, but I wanna go over the structure of Firefly first so you know what options you have. So if you click on any of the four options in the bottom, it's gonna regenerate the same thing, which is the word Firefly with the Mossy text effect in a different style. Now I think I like the second one the most, but I don't like the pink background. So if you come on the right all the way in the bottom, you can change the background color to white. So now you can see the colors a bit better. Now if you don't want the background to be of a specific color and have it with no background, you can select this option right here. Now if you're happy with this generation, you can just click the download button right here and it's gonna download this font without any backgrounds. But while downloading, it's going to add a watermark in the bottom which will say that this was generated using Adobe Firefly using AI. As you see in the middle, it's saying we're tagging this using Adobe Firefly. Now you see this image is now downloaded without any backgrounds, but it comes with this watermark in the bottom here which says image is not for commercial use. So you can't really use this image for commercial purposes such as selling it as a design or on a t-shirt. So just like the background color, you can edit the text color as well. So I don't think there's much value in this text color feature because it's usually gonna get covered up with the text effect that you define in the bottom. As you saw, there's a bunch of different fonts available to use and every time you click it, it does a brand new set of generations using the last text effect that you used. You might've seen that I removed the mossy word in the bottom, but every time I click a new font, it keeps generating using the mossy design that it last generated with. So that might either be a bug or it is by design and it persists the last text effect that you provided. All right, let's talk about the text effect fit. This is a really unique feature of Adobe Firefly and very specific to the text effect feature. So this lets you vary how tightly fit all of these generations are to the actual letters. So if you click tight, the moss that was on those letters will get very tightly fit to the actual letters. But if you click loose, you're gonna see that the moss might start coming out a little bit from the letters. So as you see in the generations here, you're gonna see the moss is starting to kind of grow out of the letters a little bit. I'm gonna do a few more generations in a little bit where you're gonna see the effects of this loose fit much more prevalent. The last section here is the sample effects where you're gonna have a bunch of effects that you can try out. For example, there's jungle vine, flowers, snakes, driftwood. In the material section, there's balloons, wires, denim jeans. 
Uh, and in the food and drink section, there's toasts, gingerbreads, pasta, donuts, sushi. So all of these are ideas that you can use, which can be placed on the text effect section, and that will change the whole design of the fonts. All right, now that you know the main features of the text effects, I'm gonna change this word to something which will make the changes a bit more visible. So I encourage everybody to click like on my videos. So why not use the word like? I'm gonna change the background to white, so I'm going to do one example from all of these categories before starting off with my own ideas. So let me start with something like cookies. Very nice. Now you see how the word like looks like it's made with cookies. Now let me change it to denim jeans. Now this is going to look like the whole thing is made with pieces of jeans. It even has some jean buttons here. I don't really see an option to upscale the picture yet, but I feel like that's a feature they're going to add soon. And from the last section, let me try adding a DK. All right, this looks hauntingly disgusting because it looks like stuff is decaying on it. And I wanna add the loose fit, but let me not do it on the DK one. Now you might assume that most of these words need to be one or two words, but that's actually incorrect. You can add something long, like let me say, mermaids playing in the water and click generate. I see some issues with the faces here. I don't think this is a good generation. Let me try the second one. All right, I see some splashes of water coming out of the word. Let me now change this to loose. So the looser the text effect fit is, the more things that are gonna pop out of the picture. So you see there's a lot more things coming out of the words now than before. So that is what the loose fit does. So if I change this to water droplets, I expect it to sprinkle out a lot more from the word. Actually, if you see the options here a bit closely, you can even judge how much the sprinkle will be. So the first one is actually without much sprinkle. The second one is with a little bit. And the third one looks like there's a lot of water that's gonna splash out of the word. And that's correct. So you can see here that the word like will have a lot more water droplets coming out. So this is the most messy, I would say, but also the most creative one of the four. So I'm gonna download this one. Now let me combine some of the existing sample effects with some of my ideas. So let's start with Golden Serpent's Photorealistic Metallic. And you might remember that my text effect is selected as loose. So I expect a lot of these serpents to be kind of coming out of the word. I think I like this one the most because it has a lot of details. Now let me go a few different directions. First, I'm gonna try out a more nature-like version of this word. So I'm gonna start with tropical forest. All right, so I have a tropical forest with a lot of trees and plants growing out of each other. So now let me add tropical forest with snakes. Now you might have already gotten a glimpse of how creative this can get because every single time I add a new concept to my prompt, it somehow finds a way to add that on. Now let me try doing this. Tropical forest with snakes with purple eyes. Wow, that looks really cool. That looks a bit scary. Let me change this again. I'm gonna say green snakes with purple eyes. All right, I'm trying to make sure that the body is mostly green, but I feel like there's some generations which are mostly purple. I can see there's spots of green on this purple snake, but I would have liked the whole snake to be green like this. Let me try this one. All right, most of these snakes look pretty green. Let me see, there's only one purple haze on this one. The rest of them look pretty green. There's a little bit of purple here too, but it's listening to my prompts pretty well, I think. Now, let me add a little bit more details. So I'm gonna say hissing at you. All right, I see at least one snake which is looking directly at me, trying to hiss at me. Maybe this one too. Let me try another option here. All right, I think this one looks pretty mad. Actually, all of the snakes here look pretty pissed off. All right, let me go a different direction. This time I'm gonna try some text effects which are more actions than just nouns. So let me start off with saying Shiba dog. All right, I got some generations of the same word using Shiba. I'm not sure if this is a Shiba, but all the other ones do look like Shiba Inus. So now I'm gonna say Shiba dogs 
barking at me. All right, I got some angry Shibas. I'm not sure if that is a Shiba, but they're all fairly angry. It's understanding my prompt pretty well. This one looks pretty angry. Now let me change this font, barking at each other. All right, they all seem to be barking at each other. I'm trying to see if the generation gets messed up if the actions are a bit abstract. And till now, I think there's a few generations where the faces are not correct because it's trying to make this letter, but also trying to keep up with my action. So I definitely see some faces that are not generated properly, but I think it's doing pretty well for being on the beta version. All right, now let me try something in the TV and movie category. So I'm gonna go with Game of Thrones. So I wanna see what kind of images it generated and what ideas it takes from Game of Thrones. All right, I think the generation looks really nice. I think it's giving me really cool generations. I really like these ones actually. You see the detail on this L. It looks like a part of a knife or something. Now for the last one, I'm gonna try some Harry Potter characters and see what it gives me. Now you might have noticed that none of the characters from any of the movies are showing up on the fonts. Like for example, if you provide like a fairy, it's gonna provide me actual characters which are on the letters. But if I provide anything from a movie, it's not giving me any of those characters on the letters. It's just giving me the vibe of that movie. So that might be related to copyright or something else, but that is something interesting to note. So I think if you want any specific kind of movie generation, it's better to provide that category. So if I provide a Wild West movie, it's giving me things which are relevant to a Wild West movie. I think there's like a knife here or maybe a gun, but I think you got the idea of how creative this functionality can get and how useful it can get if you're trying to design a specific font. Because a lot of times these fonts, even the creative ones, are not that great and it's very hard to design something as intricate as this one on the fly that took a few seconds and you have this design ready to go i think i want to do another video which will design a logo for a brand on a specific theme if you would like that video please add a comment but i hope you got some value from today's video if you did enjoy it please click the like button and subscribe to my channel i have a lot more videos coming up till the next one thank you so much